Welcome back everyone. You may be trying to go ahead and figure out a way where you can go ahead and clear your system storage on your Android phone. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this. If you're trying to go ahead and clear out specifically system storage and not all your storage, well the first thing you have to remember is when you click on this it says system includes files to run Android, you know, version 12, whatever it is. Now the best thing you can do to clear, you know, if this storage is being taken up by a bunch of different things, you want to look and see if you have any updates downloaded on your specific, you know, phone. And you also want to look for any stuff. Google applications that you want to go ahead and delete. Now, a lot of applications out there cannot be deleted without a root, you know, without having root permissions, but there's a lot of applications that come pre installed that you can see if you want to go ahead and remove. So, what we can do is we can make our way over to our settings. We want to go and click on apps, and we want to go and click on pretty much all our applications. So, if there's a thing that says see all 92 apps or whatever, you want to go and click there, and all you want to do is you want to scroll through until you find all the applications that you don't want to use anymore. So Google Calendar is one of those applications that you can force stop. And another thing you can do is you can go ahead and scroll down and right where it says storage and cache, you want to click on it and it'll go ahead and allow you to clear the storage and clear the cache of these specific applications. So you can see it has cache of not that much. The total is not that much. So what you can do is you can clear the storage of some of these applications you don't use. Even if you don't have the ability of removing them, you can still clear the storage and that should clean up a little bit of your background, you know, little options that you have. Again, a lot of these things cannot be removed for the most part, like this one, for example, I don't think we can remove it, but we can still clear their storage if you want. And that's a really cool thing that we have the ability of doing. Now, another thing is, like I mentioned, if you have any applications, another thing you can do is, like I mentioned, if you have any updates that were downloaded, you can try seeing if you can go ahead and remove those downloads. So sometimes if you have a file manager, you may be able to see those things. Usually, if you have an update, what I would recommend doing is scrolling down, going into your system updates and then software updates, wherever that is, system update right here. And you want to download and just install that update. So you can see I have a security update available. I don't think that's already been downloaded, but you want to go and click restart now and you want to restart the phone and install that update. This is basically like a lingering amount of storage you have in the background. If you have like a huge update, it's probably like a gigabyte. And if you don't install it, it's just going to be saved on your phone. So you just want to go ahead and install it and that should steer it. And that should clean up a little bit of storage and it can also fix up some of your system storage options if you're having some issues there too. Now, at the end of the day, system storage is always going to be taken up by a little bit of storage. So I'd recommend just, you know, if you have 14 gigabytes or whatever like I have, it's probably not that big of a deal. There may be some other things within your Android phone that are probably taking up the most amount of storage. So you want to go and click here, delete any applications you're not using, pretty much delete any photos, videos you don't like either. And that can you know, clear up some storage in the background too. So. That's pretty much it. A few ways to fix it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.